quarters you usually have to have the shoes to go with it but that means his shoes gets a bit unruly sometimes so this is all that I've pulled out so far oh, I've got quite a bit to sort through oh the things we do for that tortoise you know how I take you on all the really exciting trips? Well, today is no exception. Today I have taken you to the brand new Aldi. So we're going to see what this is like. I did just film a whole bit and then discovered that I hadn't actually pressed record. So I will insert my reaction here when I found out. Are you me. Yeah, weren't impressed. Um, but the gist of what I was telling you was that Aldi's was interesting. Um, it was a big store, it's a lovely store, but I think the whole of Norwich had the same idea as me of, ooh, let's go try a new store because it was packed. I really hate people after being in there. It was just proper trolley rage. People just leaving their trolleys in the middle of the aisle. Why, why would you do that? Why be that inconsiderate that then that means no one can get past in either direction? It was just oh, rude. Rude, 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 rude. Um, it is now 20 past two. Um, so I've left Audi. I'm on my way to Riverside to pick up a dress that I ordered from Wallace in their sale. Um, which I think would be nice for Marcy's christening, even though it's not actually booked yet, but hopefully it will be soon. Um, and then I'm praying that I'll then have enough time to whip past um, the dry cleaners to drop off a suit for Mark, because I've had that in my car for, God, it must be a month by now, and probably even longer than that. Since my week off, it's been in the back of my car, ready to drop off, so I just want to get rid of it now. Um, Good morning. So I am back in the car today because I am off to Elsham for the morning. Um, and then, then where am I going? Heffel. I am then going to Heffel, which I've not been before, as now part of my new South Wall. It is already 18, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, it's already 18 degrees. It's gonna be a scarcher today. Um, so I've got my legs out. Really sorry for anyone who I flick them on, but it's the only way I'm gonna get any colour to them. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because there was actually nothing to vlog. I went to work, I cycled, didn't fall off my bike, so that's progress. And then I went to the gym and I had a really good session in the gym again. I felt really lethargic. I think it was because of the heat and my legs still feel heavy from last week. Um, but on the for my running hit, um, so last week I managed to push it to 1.27, which was the most I'd ever done, which was an increase of one from 1.23 kilometers in 10 minutes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm running a marathon, I'm just saying this is progress for me. Um, but last night I did 1.28, so I pushed it just that little bit harder, which is great. Um, and I've worked out because I would like to do a 5k in 30 minutes or under, which um, is kind of my aim, which I know for most people that's pretty easy, but for me, that really ain't. Um, and I've discovered I need to be hitting 1.5 really, so I've got a little way to go, but I'm progressing, so that's always good. Um, my stepmom's home on Friday, so I'm just trying to keep on top of the housework before she arrives, always the same kind of games isn't it, as soon as she tidy, so I did a massive blitz at the weekend, house was absolutely spotless, um, and then within 24 hours it looks like an absolute shit tip again, just trying to keep on top of the dishwasher, you know, just stuff laying around, bins and whatever, um, so yeah, that's kind of my exciting week so far, I'm really hitting the gym hard, I'm really kind of getting into a bit of a routine now, so I'm, I'm quite pleased with that, um, and I'm hoping that is, that's going to continue. Um, 
So I'll probably chat to you on the way to Hethel, see if there's anything that I can update you with. But other than that, that's it for today. Hiya, sorry, me again. Um, There was also a couple of other things I got which I completely forgot um, and I only picked them up today um, but these were, I told you I like to buy a bargain um, because it was sunny I happened to take a walk into um, the local town because I was in the Aylsham office um, today and I picked they've got three charity shops and I, I honestly wasn't looking to do it I just wanted to wander around and that's all that's kind of really there to be perfectly honest that and tea shops and I certainly didn't want any cake um, but I picked up some proper bargains today, um, completely unintentional. So I've got two tops and a pair of shoes. The first is um, this really simple t-shirt, it's actually from Fat Face. Um, it's a 12 but I think it may have shrunk in the wash. I'd like to think so anyway. Um, but if it's nice around the bust I would have to wear a vest up underneath but that's fine, I could wear a white or a red one. Um, and like I said it was Fat Face. Um, and it was on the sale rail, which meant it was half price. So even at full price in charity shop, it was three pound fifty, and I ended up getting this for one pound seventy five. <laughs> How amazing is that? Like wear it with some dark denim jeans, perfect. Um, I also picked up from the same shop um a top from Wallace. I loved the colours. It's kind of got this burnt see-through effect, so you kind of would have to wear a vest top, but I thought I could wear a nice beige coloured one underneath so it's not that noticeable. Um and again they can go nicely with the kind of stone coloured jeans I got from Sainsbury's. Really light, um just dress it up, dress it down. And that was a grand total of three pounds. So, whoo, big spenders. And then my absolute find of the day is I have been after some new red heels because, um, like I mentioned, I quite like wearing red and navy together or red and black. I like a pop of colour, particularly in my shoes. Um, and I've been looking for some red heels for a while and they've never quite been right. But these were from new look and they are brand new shoes from new look um in a red suede which admittedly i probably wouldn't have gone for suede but they are in that well they're brand new so they're mint condition and they were four pounds 95 so i've managed to get two tops all from decent makes and a pair of shoes for what eight pounds how crazy no nine pounds nine pounds how crazy is that amazing so these shoes with the red polka dot dress i'm well away and i can team this with some dark denim shorts which i have already got that's one of the very few summer things that actually still fit me um and these will go nicely with the stone jeans so i'm properly coordinating well chuffed with my bargain purchases lately Happy birthday! So I um, have finished a few meetings this morning. I've just quickly nipped to Mark's on my lunch break because there is a car he wants to show me um, that he's got his eye on. We have talked about changing his car for a while so it's not a shock um, but yeah he suddenly came home last night all excited um, and wants me to come and see it um, and give it a test drive to see if it's something that I can drive because I'm really funny about bigger cars and that kind of thing. Um, so yes yeah, so let's see what this is all about. What a gloriously sunny evening! How beautiful is this? It really feels like summer. It's fantastic. I just hope it lasts. Somehow it escaped me that this weekend is bank holiday weekend. So I really hope that the reports are right and this weather stays because I really want to make the most of it rather than being stuck in an office all day. Um, but I am in my gym gear because I'm on the way to the gym. Um, going to do some spinning. This will be my third visit this week so I'm quite proud of myself really. Um, test drove uh, the car that Mark wants to get earlier and yeah it was fine. It, it's a pretty colour. It drove. What more can I really say? It had big cup holders. That was my, my main requirement. Um, 
and that it would then be family friendly potentially for the future um which it was so that ticked all the boxes mark likes it um so i imagine i think he is going to go for that um so that was all a bit of a rush and a sudden decision that i hadn't quite banked on um the only thing i've now got to figure out how i'm going to do is that he wants a deposit to be his um, birthday present, his 40th birthday present, which is fine. However, <laughs> that's my party money for his birthday. So I, I'm struggling on how I can tell him, uh, yeah, 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 I'll find it. And then, hmm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm still waiting for some of the RSVPs to come back for the party, actually. Um, which reminds me, I need to chase them up because we've now got about six weeks to go. Um, so, oh, rather exciting. Um, but yeah, now we're heading to the gym. So I won't take you in. I've taken you in before. And I'm not sure that's a sight you really want to see again, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, and then from tomorrow, my stepmom will be with us. So it will be lovely to see Debbie. It'll be really, really nice. Um, so looking forward to that. It's her birthday next week, so I have suggested to her about going for something to eat on Saturday night or potentially getting something in if she's a bit tired from travelling. But um, I haven't heard back from her yet. I think she's still flying. So um, we'll see. Not a bad backdrop for lunch today, hey? just met my friend for lunch in the city I just grabbed some food from Tesco and sat in the castle garden so it's been absolutely beautiful to make use of the weather I'm just going to quickly pick something up from the city and then head back home to do some more work Hello heart. so I've just come to edit and I've realised that one of my um, haul videos has corrupted or oh, the, the file clip has corrupted for some reason so I'm just going to whistle through I, I apologise if some of these stuff you have already seen or you do then go and see in another vlog because I've literally just from memory had to grab what I think was in the film um, but I can't actually remember everything First things first is something that I picked up in the Wallace sale it's this blue polka dot Kind of fit and flare dress it's got a v neck and some ruffles and it has a tie waist um i love polka dot i love navy and i think if i team this with some red heels this will be amazing um and this is what i had in mind for say marcy's christening as and when it gets booked um this was 45 pounds full price and i got it for 15 in the wallace sale so an absolute bargain in the sainsbury sale i got these cream um fairly thick actually really good quality jeans um i seem to be going for a bit of a kind of uh, tribal color theme so the rusts the khakis um blacks that kind of thing so um these oh they are already dirty because i have worn these loads already um and these were if i remember rightly these were 16 so i then got them for 12 and they're 25 percent off um, in the same to be sale again, so again following the same colour scheme. I'm whistling through it just because I want to add the film in, sorry. I've got this vest top, um, so it's just really nice and loose. It's v-neck, it's got this Aztec kind of tribal print, and again these will look great with dark denim jeans or will also go with them cream, um, dark denim jeans, dark denim shorts, and also them cream jeans that I've just shown. This was £10 and I got it in the 25% off again, so this was £7.50. Um, from Sainsbury's again and 25% off, I got this lovely ombre scarf. Um, so this was £6 and I then got it for £4.50 in the sale, but I was thinking with a white top or even khaki, this would really um, dress it up. So it's, I really love pieces like this for when you go on holiday if you've just got hand luggage because you can really kind of dress up or dress down an outfit and it's actually quite practical because you can then wrap it around your shoulders if you get cool. Um, for, oh, and the last thing from, oh no, I've got two more things from Sainsbury's. Um, like I said, there is a colour theme. I've got this khaki vest top. This, it's really loose fitting. Um, it's fitted at the bust and then it flows down quite long. These would go with dark denim um, shorts or even white shorts. I love khaki with white. Um, 
before taking the price off but if I remember rightly this is six pounds so with the 25% off I actually got this for four pounds fifty they've got a blue and white striped one as well which um, I am tempted to go back but they haven't had the size that I wanted ever since and a top that I've been wearing loads I can't remember if I've already shown you this or not is this leaf print so it's khaki and navy it's in a jersey material I love jersey material it just sits nicely on me um, with my body shape this seems jersey material always seems to work best for me it's um, v-neck again I've been wearing this with the cream jeans also for with denim dark denim um, and I've been wearing it for work and for home so this has been amazing I can't actually remember how much this was I think this was 10 because I remember debating the price for a t-shirt top which would then take it down to £7.50 so that's not bad moving on to oh and I also got a pair of white shorts which I am wearing still got the trice tag on so these were 14 and I think I got them for 11 something um so they're super super comfy and they're thick especially being white shorts you have to be really careful kind of how thick they are as to whether your knickknacks show through from Tesco's they've really um kind of picked up on the 25% so one of my favourite tops at the moment is this really simple white t-shirt top. It's got lovely little frilly cap sleeves and like broadery on glaze kind of top. This was £8 and I think I then got it for £6 something in the 25% off. I've been desperately seeing if they've been doing this in any other colours, which so far they haven't. But um, yeah, I love this top. I've been wearing it with, with everything. Shorts, jeans, and even a pinafore dress, which you'll see in just a second. I also picked up um, this simple t-shirt. I got it in two colours. So I've got it in this corally colour on. And I also got it in a white. I got this last, no, about three, four years ago. And I've worn them every summer. The white version anyway. However, last year when I got back from Portugal, it accidentally got caught up in the tumble dryer stuff and it then shrunk to the size of a small child. Um, so that's a lesson. Don't um, tumble dry these tops. But these were a fiver, so I've got them for £3.50 um, in 25% off. But I just love them. They're thick enough so your bra doesn't show through. But they're really loose, really um, comfy, but they look quite stylish as well. And again, with the coral top, as you can see, you can't see my bra through, which is a real bonus. Like the Primark ones, I had to take back because you could. Um, and like this one, I'm wearing with white shorts today. But similarly, you could also then wear them with dark denim jeans. Um, dark denim shorts. I keep saying jeans. Shorts, shorts, shorts. Finally, moving on to Matalan. You saw that I tried some of these things on. I picked up these Aztec, again, jerseys, so they are quite heavy, but they'd be great for the plane. Um, I don't know what you call them, palazzo pants, are they? They are super comfy, and I think they're really stylish with a black kind of um, t-shirt top, but perhaps even a fitted one, or even a looser one like this. Um, these were amazing, and they are still on the website. I think these were £14. No sales there, though, unfortunately. And then the final thing I picked up, which I have been loving, completely not my style at all, um, is, sorry, you can't even see me now, is this pinafore dress. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, so, um, but it's like a dark denim pinafore dress with a straight bottom, and with it you get this really thin three-quarter sleeve top, so you wear that underneath, um, I love this, completely not my style, it was a bit of a whim, but I've actually been wearing them with plimp soles, it's really comfy, really flattering, um, it's comfy because it you can actually eat whatever you like, you don't have to breathe in all the time, because it's it really silhouettes your, silhouettes your shape rather than fits to it, um, but also that means you can wear trainers, how many outfits can you look stylish in and actually wear like plimp, plimp soles or trainers and, and still look okay? Um, I've also been wearing it with this white bordery on glaze top as well and that looks really cute um, and they also do it in a black um, and a light denim and I'm the light denim is currently in my basket and I think I am actually going to proceed with that buy because like I said it's just it's been so versatile and I've worn it so much. <laughs> 